Today, we will be talking about one of the greatest breakthroughs in all of scientific history, the transition from the geocentric to the heliocentric model. This is a picture of our Earth. Believe it or not, our Earth was actually considered to be the center of our universe before famous astronomers such as Copernicus and Galileo realized that it indeed was not. Before these astronomers, everyone truly did believe that Earth was the center of the universe, but what could have gone wrong to make people question that? Well, to answer that question, let's look further into the specifics. This theory really took off during the time of the Renaissance. During this time, anything and everything was being explored and explained, thus leading man to look at the location of Earth. At first, everyone believed the geocentric theory. This theory states that Earth is a stationary object with the sun revolving around it. Since man experienced no movement, they assumed that they were stationary. This theory, which has now been proven wrong, made sense to people living during that time period. They saw the sun rise every morning and set every night around them. They saw the stars rotate around them. So what could have gone wrong to make people question this theory? It didn't all happen at once, but there was a process. One of the first steps taken to disprove this theory was a circle. Yes, you heard me, a circle. Greek philosophy tells us that the movement of these bodies appeared to be a circle. But after further analysis, it was seen that some of these bodies moved backwards, thus leading to the concept of epicycles, or circles within circles. The discovery of epicycles made it hard to support the idea that Earth was located at the center of the universe. As a result of this discovery, among others, a plethora of theories arose regarding the position of the Earth in relation to other planets. Of course, there were many theories between the geocentric and heliocentric theory, trying to explain whether or not Earth really was the center of the universe. For example, one theory stated that the Sun and the Moon revolved around Earth while everything else revolved around the Sun, not willing to give in to the idea that Earth might not be the center of the universe after all. These two astronomers, Galileo and Copernicus, are credited with being able to come up with information to prove the fact that Earth isn't the center of the universe. Thanks to the work of previous Muslim scholars, Copernicus and Galileo were able to build off of their findings and bring them to Italy. Let's start off with Copernicus. Copernicus was able to publish a book which roughly translates to On the Revolutions of the Celestial Spheres. Because of this, he was able to trigger the Copernican Revolution, setting the foundation for the heliocentric model and any advancements made off of it. At first, people didn't agree with this theory. They kept trying to poke holes in it, and they weren't accepting it. Until Galileo came around. Galileo, with his telescope, tried to prove the fact that Copernicus was right. Galileo observed Venus and its many phases, clarifying that it did indeed orbit around the sun. Viewing the phases of Venus is just one of the many pieces of evidence that help to support that the heliocentric theory is correct, others of which include stellar apparition, the Doppler effect, retrograde motion of planets, and much more. Of course, this heliocentric model didn't sit well with everyone. It went against religious views, making people question the knowledge of the church. But that's a whole nother story. Although the heliocentric model wasn't widely accepted during its time period, Today, it proves to be one of the biggest advancements in scientific history. To sum up, we have learned that Earth is not the stationary center of the universe, but instead revolves on its axis around the Sun, which is the center. Although this concept did cause some controversy, it set a stable base for other scientific breakthroughs to branch off of. In conclusion, the Sun is the center of the universe, while the Earth is not.